Now this is my messy station for today. I'm gonna to show how I modify my smaller, lighter lures so I can use them along the shoreline day or night. Now I'm going to be using some Castix Assist products, which are hammer bombs. Um, you have the normal hammer bombs, like this one here is called the unleaded because there's no lead in it. Now you see how these are flashing? These hammer bombs are called flash bombs. They're going to be great at night because they're going to light up the whole place. It's going to look like escaping shrimp or escaping uh, squid that are phosphorescent, um, running, trying to run away from the, the predators, and they'll come after them. Now. After about a year, the, the batteries do die down. Don't throw them away. Like this one here, you know, do not throw them away because what's going to happen is when the flash bomb, the, the light finally gives out, you can still use it as a regular resin um, cast bomb and just throw your, your lines out. But I tend to use these with very, very light surface plugs and lures. See that? So... This way, I, you know, on your own, this would be kind of hard to throw this out to get any distance. But with these assist, cast assist devices, it'll make it great. Hey, how's it guys? This is Scuba Chris. Now, I like these lures. These come from China. I know, they come from China. And they are rattlers. The surface rattlers but they come with very feeble uh, treble hooks anytime you order smaller sizes like this unless if it's a quality product that's very expensive something like a Shimano or a Daiwa then you're gonna have to change it out okay so let's see now all right Those are rattlers in there, we're BBs. We're gonna get our scale. See how much this weighs. I'm gonna use ounces instead of grams. I'm used to ounces. I'm gonna weigh this. Okay, it weighs 0 0.36 ounces. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the stock trebs off and the uh, split rings, I'm gonna replace it with something a lot sturdier. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I am gonna turn it into. I'm gonna turn it into something like this, okay? Now you notice that um, the hooks on it are singles. Um, I'm gonna make some that are double. I'm gonna put some uh, trailer assist. I'm gonna make it all different. And I put a swivel on the end, also with a split ring. Now this one here, let's weigh this one. This way, zero point six five, almost twice the weight. How did we do that? How can just some simple hooks and a split, and a couple split rings do that? Well, if you look carefully at the top of the head, see how it's those those holes there? 
those are drilled out now i'm going to show you how I, I altered the weight of these lures what i do is i take my my power drill okay and, and what i do is i drill holes on the top after you drill the holes on the top you make sure it doesn't go all the way through you drill the holes on the top all right get your bbs now the copper bbs i use it takes 21 BBs to, to equal one quarter of an ounce. Okay, and I checked it on my scale, so I, I know that it takes 21 of these. So I figure out what I'm gonna do. So when I take the stock item, I throw in a bucket of water, it floats. And then what I do is on the hooks, I attach lead, lead weights on it. And I figure out what the break even, what it's gonna take for that lure to just barely sit on the surface and sink, and sink slowly. That's what I want. And some other lures I'll make a slightly heavier. So I'm gonna vary what I'm gonna do here. This, I like this one. This one's already done. Like you can see here, you see those two holes on the top? Drill two holes in, put the BBs in. And the way I seal it, I use Marine Adhesive 52. I use this for my boat too. This is great stuff. It dries really good. It's meant for marine application. And what I do is on the top here, if um, you can just smear it around, but sometimes it may pull out, you know, the plug in here may pull out. So let me show you what I do is a little trick. Um, here, get an ordinary hole puncher, all right? And when you buy plastic anything, you know, like covers of a, a lure, I keep it. And what I do is, I start punching, punching out all the little holes, all right? And I get those little holes and I stick it in there when, when it's still wet and I push it down, all right? That will create that type of seal and it, it's gonna hold pretty damn good. I, I mean, I've been using this for a while. So even on the bigger lures, like say orcas, um, smaller lures like this, it, it will seal the hole and um, you gotta do it when it's still wet. And this way you can alter the weight so it'll either run under the surface or just stay barely on the surface. And the reason why you wanna do that is because if you're using a very, very light lure, like this one here that is just out of the package, try to cast one of these, spin cast one of these. My God, you're gonna have to have super lightweight line to try to cast one of these because there's no weight. Now you can add weight to it. I, I've tried using lead eggs, okay? And, but the lead eggs on the front of the lure would drive it down. It, it's a reaction I, I don't like. It, it doesn't look natural. I even went as far as covering the lead eggs with, with black um, ink here so it, it won't be too shiny. Doesn't matter. The fish don't like that reaction, that, that digging action. And it doesn't come back up unless if, 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 it, if it's um, very lightweight and non-sinking weight. So what do you do? I've been doing this way. This way works. I've already hit one massive hit and I kind of know what it is, but I don't want to say it for now because I, I don't want to put myself in that situation. But this works. I've, I've had a big monster hit on this one. In fact, on that very same one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try certain different things here. I got all of these, I wanna give it a try. I got different types of hooks. I noticed for this type of size right here, which is roughly about maybe three, three and a quarter inches long. I've been using the live bait hooks, the mustads, number three and four. They, they work pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm also gonna try some um, assist. I got some owner assist. I use my, um, owner hyperwire split rings to put the split rings on. I make sure I have two, at least two split ring pliers with me, regular pair of pliers. Got some other um, assist setups here. So I'm gonna try the assist uh, setups. I'm gonna try some um, regular hooks, mix it up. And on the front part over here, like this one here, um, this one just has the, this is the, the stock one. 
But on the one that we did, I, I took off the uh, split ring, put, put on a good split ring, a owner, and I put on a barrel swivel. So this one here is already caught. This is pretty good. Um, this is not major for big GTs or anything like that. Uh, they, they're multi-purpose. I'm going for anything from bonefish to smaller trevallis, um, ladyfish, uh, to Pacific threadfin at night. Now these will glow. And I'm going to show a picture later on of it glowing. Okay, These work so great. And to get these things to glow, I use this Rapala um, charging glow. Let's see. There we go. See how... It's called Read Polar Charger Glow. I'll put a link at the bottom. You're going to see the link when you read the description on how to get these. All right. So basically, when you go out and I start plugging, this will be glowing. And I'm going to have hammer bombs. And I'm going to be having the hammer bombs right behind. Um, the main line is going to the hammer bomb, which I already highlighted earlier. And from the hammer bombs, I'm going to have maybe about a five to six foot liter coming down into these type of lures and the hammer bomb is going to be good it's going to be cast assist it's going to help me get everything out there try to keep this more on the surface let it chug along see what it will drum up alrighty so let me go put a couple of these together and I'll show you the end product thank you All right, I'm through here. This is what I was using. Now that one, that one, and that one, I'm using the one on um, assist hooks. Uh, this one over here, I'm just gonna go straight hook. This one here, I'm using the, the small size one here, which is a little bit smaller than the one on. So I'm just trying to vary it up, um, see what happens. Yeah, but it looks pretty good. I, I used the um, owner number six, uh, split rings and I use the um, uh, number three um, mustads live bait hook so let's we'll see how that works this is the number three is here that's what I was using so um, looks good it's a variety of different types these all will glow in the dark so we'll see how that works 